Hey, hey, it's Big Phil from Big Phil Speaks. Tapping in IG to talk about this uh, subject on um, Alicia Keys and their four-year-old and her four-year-old son. But I, this goes to Swiss Beach too. A lot of the backlash has been received, and also curious comment video. I guess you could say response from my my son, the general. Um, let me say this. Um, First and foremost, my son, I respect your movement and generally your, your, your point of view on a lot of things, but Ed Lover Voice, come on, son. There's no way, no way you can justify, oh, you have to respect their parenting on, on, on this and that be the answer. And that be justified or justifiable. Or Alicia Keys, your, your, your video that I watched and, you know, the sad state of the world and, 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 and in judging, uh, judging your son. The reality of it is. In the good book, it says, judge not lest ye be judged. But also in that good book, it says that we are to judge a tree by its fruit, the fruit that it bears. Hmm. Interesting, right? My son, would it be cool if she was she, she passed him a joint to smoke? That'd be a parenting choice. Would it be cool if she passed him an alcoholic beverage to sip on? That would be a parenting choice. Would it be cool? God forbid she allowed her child to be touched or fondled by another adult. Because believe it or not, there are certain parents that have indulged in that and allowed that to happen. Not, not situations where parents... Didn't know what was going on, but actively in these cults and things of that nature have okayed it. That's a parenting choice. Is are any of those to be respected? Hell no. Now, okay, those watching this might be like, oh, Big Phil, that's a reach. But here's how it's not a reach. Her son is four, <clears throat> whoo, four years old. Four. His mental capacity ain't there yet to make an informed total decision as to what he wants to be in life, who and what he wants to relate to in life. And I'm talking about sexuality. I'm talking about um, career wise. I'm talking about in relationships. I'm talking about uh, psychologically, uh, spiritually. That's why we as parents are supposed to teach the children in the way in which they are to go. And if later on they decide to make certain life choices for themselves or, you know, the argument of, of some folk, if certain things within them starts to call out and they want to live out certain things in their lives, so be it. But at four years old, you do not psychologically set your child up. Because of something you want to see in, in the world or because some, something you feel as though how it should be. You might be like, Phil, you wrong on this one. No, I'm not, because if it was right, she wouldn't have to have told the little white lie or, 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 or padded, padded the situation by saying, uh, son, a lot, a lot of men wear, wear nail polish in order to get the child to want to side or be OK with the decision to wear the rainbow nail polish or any nail polish for that matter, at four years old, mind you. Four years old. Think about if it was a little girl and she wanted to wear full foundation makeup and everything else and she ain't in no pageant, beauty, beauty pageant or none of that. that. That'd be cool parenting. That'd be respect the parents. 
Now you be looking at them crazy like, why the hell you got your daughter wearing full on makeup like a grown ass woman at four? So what would make it different? Huh? What would make it different because he's a boy and getting in touch with his femininity at four years old? They don't know too much about masculinity and femininity. It's like it's like a child who's raised by a racist at four years old. They're going to repeat what they're taught. They're going to repeat what was said around them, what's done around them. And, and, and as they grow, either grow further than that or finally step away from that. What are you teaching your child, Alicia Keys, at four years old? If he was expressing himself, it wouldn't be no need for you to have said, well, uh, there's a lot of men that wear, wear nail polish to get him to be OK with that decision. That's the problem I'm having. If, if you didn't have if you didn't say that statement and he, he, you know, he was teetering and he decided, you know what, mom, I'm going to be I want to be an artist anyway, so I'm going to do it, you know. Even at four years old, then I, I can say, uh, but it's almost like you, 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 you psychologically trying to trick him into understanding for himself that he should wear that rainbow polish. When in reality, no four year old boy should be wearing rainbow nail polish or polish for that matter. No, bo- no four year old boy. I don't care who he's raised by, what household he's in, what the household believes, none of that. Now, as he gets a little bit older and he want to make, you know, after a certain age, he starts to make determinations within himself. Then we have to respect that because God does not defy our will. So we have to respect that. But at four years old, you're gonna, you, you're governing that child's will. And my son, it seemed to me your answer was a little politically too correct, my brother, because of who it was we talking about to keep it one thou wow. Seemed like you, it was a little too politically correct, like you was afraid to, to ruffle a feather or two. But I get it. It is what it is, right? Hollywood is a wicked place. But I, I have no problem. Let me preface. Let me say this: for the LGBTQ community, this has nothing to this. This statement or this video has nothing, no bearing as to me being for or against your lifestyles. So let's put that aside. Let, let's 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 kill that right now, because one. At four years old, male or female, nobody's supposed to be having sex with anybody, experiencing sex with anybody, doing anything that involves sexuality, period. That's first and foremost. So let's get that out the way. I don't want, I don't want there to be no, no, no backlash like, oh, you just, you, you anti this or anti that or woo, woo, woo. My, my, my opinions are my opinions, first and foremost, but secondly, it has nothing to do with that. What it has something to do with is letting children be children. Letting children be children and raising them in the way that you know to be right. Not in the way, not in things you want, like selfish things that you want, but the right things that should happen in life. To love your neighbor, to love yourself as you would love your neighbor, to Treat each person right to honor your parents so your days will be long. You know, just different things. Love your brother. Do not steal. Do not kill. Yada, yada, yada. But to be encouraging your child at four years old. And, and like I said, it's almost like. Almost like you were lying, trying to lie to them. Like, yeah, there's a couple of men that, that paint their nails. Some put the clear nail polish hard on, and then some go all out with, with nail polish. Whether they rock stars or whether they, you know, live in a, a different, you know, a, 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 a different lifestyle or whatever, and, and dress up and all that good stuff, they do that. But at four years old, that child don't need to know nothing about none of that. 
at four. He should be worried about kicking a ball. You know what I'm saying? Playing with building blocks, reading a little book or something. That's what that boy should be worried about. Not worried about what the world is going to perceive me in rainbow nail polish. And again, you shouldn't have to lie or, or, or you know, try to overdo it, overemphasize that men are wearing nail polish to get your four-year-old child to put it on or keep it on. That's psychologically damaging. Let children be children, y'all. Let them be children. Let them grow into what they're going to be or what, what they want to be, not what you feel is, you know, is cool or okay or what you've seen around you or seen by certain other successful Hollywood people allowed in their, their households. You don't do that. You don't do that. Come on, y'all. Let me know what you think. Comment one way, you know, let, let's dialogue. That's what it's about, dialogue. It's your boy, Big Phil from Big Phil Speaks. And I'll holler. <laughs>